Hey guys, how's it going? And welcome back to the real Tony Starks Productions. I haven't uploaded in a couple of weeks. I think it might be around two weeks, maybe a bit under it. Uh, but I'm back now, guys, to review episode eight and nine of The Last of Us. The last couple of episodes, uh, The Last of Us ended last night on the 12th of March, 2023, uh, at 2am, which for you Americans is 9am. And guys, the last couple of episodes was absolutely phenomenal. Let's just start right off with episode 8. Episode 8 started with Ellie and Joel in the basement. Joel had still was lying, spent the majority of that episode lying there from uh, being stabbed by one of David's men. And uh, this was the episode that actually finally introduced David. And can I just say how amazed and like astonished i am at how accurate they actually got it to the game with the people um i'm not sure what the guy who portrays uh david's called but holy hell did he do such a phenomenal job of playing such a sick sadistic twisted bastard i loved that episode from beginning to end an episode um Ellie ended up getting captured by David and her men, one of her men. I'm not sure what he was called in the show, but he was played by uh, Troy Baker, who plays Joel in the actual game. So that was very cool to actually see him get a role in the live action. And um, the episode uh, continued on where Ellie's trust in people was sort of dwindled because she said she was going out to get wood and fire and food for her and Joel and she ended up coming across David himself and his man. I, I honestly can't remember what his name is, so apologies in advance guys, but he was played by uh Troy Baker. I keep wanting to say Trey Baker, but Trey Baker is one of the creators of South Park, so also apologies in advance for that. No, his name's Troy Baker. He is the voice of the Joel in the actual Last of Us game. And guys, I absolutely loved David in this um, episode. Just a sick, sadistic bastard he was. How accurate they made it to the game. Whenever he captured Ellie and locked her up in that wee cage. And it told it retold us the backstory about how during the pandemic there was limited food resources and everything. And at one stage, it's shown you everyone's plates were full. And you kind of wondered to yourself, well, how's everyone eating from full plates? If, you, if you're if you sitting there saying to Ellie that, um, you, that food supplies, food resources are scarce. Turns out that David the entire time, much like he was in the game, was a cannibal. He was killing people and cutting them up and feeding them to his own tribe, feeding them to his own people. Which which was absolutely incredible. And can we just talk about the end of that episode, which uh was a bo was actually like a boss fight in the game near the end of the game, whenever you fought David in the kitchen, how flawlessly they did that scene. Whenever the entire kitchen went up in flames and Ellie was going around him, uh trying to get to him and he kept threatening her, saying, Ellie, come out, I'm not gonna harm you. Uh, I think we would work really well together and then she ends up biting him to get the keys off him and he says you little bitch you're gonna be the first to die and all and ends up having her sedated down on the table and she ends up escaping and that's the bit at the end of the episode whenever David's actually chasing after which I thought was done so well especially in the final moments of that episode Whenever she snuck up behind David, whenever he didn't see her coming. And she just stabbed the absolute clean holy shit out of him. I got so much satisfaction seeing, seeing him die in live action just as I did in the game. Just for how much of a sick, twisted, sadistic bastard he was. And then the episode ended with her running out and... Uh, she ended up getting caught and she ended up saying, no, no, please don't take me back. Because obviously she had been traumatised by this point because of David. And it turned out to be Joel. He says, um, there, there, baby girl, everything's going to be all right. Which is what, which is like a callback to what he called Sarah at the very first episode. And which is what Troy Baker said they had in the game. He put in the game himself because it was a very Texan thing for him growing up. And uh, the 
director Neil Druckmann said, "What what was it you said?" And he's like, "I called her baby girl." And he's like, "That's it. And uh, that's that's staying in the game. That's what you're going to call her." And that's what I ended up calling Ellie throughout the game as well, and continued on and on to part two. And I loved the interrogation scene whenever Joel finally woke up, whenever David's men were sneaking down into the basement, and uh, he ended up picking up the knife that Ellie left behind. She said, Joel, wake up. Whenever you wake up, use this to defend yourself. And uh, he took the knife and he actually stabbed the shit out of the guy and interrogated the guys and said, tell me where Ellie is. And nobody gets, basically said, tell me where the kid is and nobody gets hurt. And ended up killing them both anyway. Uh, the guy that was tied up to the fireplace said, we told you everything. And, and, uh, and you're still going to kill us anyway, you bastard. And Joel, kind of like the sick, merciless character that he, he's known to be, whenever Ellie or anyone that he loves gets threatened, was like, yeah, but I can't take the chance of you living. And the whole episode with David was just so well done, so accurate to the game. And then there, a couple of nights, or sorry, last night on the 12th of March, 2023, was the season one finale. And I love how flawlessly they made everything feel uh to the game everything in live action happened in the game from what ellie was wearing in her little um her little speech that she had to joel at the end where she said tell me everything you said about the fireflies was true swear on it and joel swears on it and this is the episode I talked about so many episodes before this. This I mentioned this, I believe, in the Bill and Frank, back in the Bill and Frank episode. This is the episode whenever they ended up getting caught by the fireflies, and Joel was enclosed in that wee room, and Marlene came in and said, "We have to run some tests in Ellie, um, because I promised her mother that I would look after her, and if we even have a chance of getting a." A uh, cure, Joel. I'm going to take it. And the episode started out with uh, the actual voice actress for uh, Ellie in the game, Ashley Johnson. I shown a little bit of backstory there about Ellie's mother being chased in the house by the infected, and she was lying down in the upstairs bedroom, and uh, Marlene and her crew of fireflies come in, and uh, she said, "Take Ellie, please take her to Boston. Please look after her." And then she said, "But please kill me in the process." And then Marlene said, no, I'm not going to do that. And then as they were walking out the room, you could hear um, Ellie's mum, a.k.a. Ellie and the game herself, Ashley Johnson, begging for plea, beg, begging for mercy, basically saying, please kill me. I don't want to let them eat me. I don't want to suffer. And then Marlene basically said to one of her Firefly crew members, uh, cover her ears, that being Ellie's and ended up shooting their mum with a pistol and then the episode continued on where they eventually her and uh, went back to present day and her and joel ended up getting captured by the fireflies themselves and then joel went on a merciless like just absolute merciless killing spree uh throughout that hospital which i thought was absolutely awesome the way that they did it showing how much that uh, Ellie meant to him from the very beginning whenever he said he hated her and he didn't want to help her to then basically killing all these fireflies in the hospital and then he got to the room they were performing surgery on her and he said take that needle out of her and ended up shooting the surgeon like he did in the game which turned out to spoiler alert if you've never played the last two turned out to be related to Abby's uh to Abby I think that was her father um and then um ended up saying to the girl take the needle out of her arm and a wee bit of blood came out and said patch it up and then he ended up killing everyone and taking her out to the upstairs car park wherever he got interrogated by marlene and uh basically marlene said joel you can't take her away you know eventually we're going to come and find you and we're going to get the cure and joel much like he did in the game ended up killing marlene and uh, ended up shooting her in the head. And whenever she was on the ground suffering, uh, bleeding out, she was saying, no, Joel, please, please don't. We can work with this. And uh, Joel, in the most badass way possible, said, I can't let you live because you're going to keep coming for her. And ended up shooting her. 
And then another thing that I loved about that episode that uh, was in the game was the draft scene. I loved it. Whenever Ellie seen draft for the first time and she was freaking out telling Joel about it, it gave me flashbacks to playing that in the game and how Ellie said she'd never seen wildlife before because of obviously living through the pandemic, living through this uh, epidemic, living through this apocalypse. Um, she was cooped up for basically her entire life. And then I really, really enjoyed how um, at the very end of the episode, she instilled all her trust in the jewel by saying, you remember back whenever you were teaching me how to use the gun, you asked me how I knew to use one. And I told you I wasn't my first time using it. She basically told... Um, Joel, the story of what we all witnessed a couple of weeks ago about having to kill her best friend, about having to kill Ellie, which made Joel feel somewhat better about what happened to Sarah because he knew he wasn't the only one suffering anymore, going through pain. And uh, I found it incredible how they were able to talk so openly about Sarah. Because if you remember back in the episode with Tommy at his, uh, like his camp place, he basically said... Uh, you're better off here, Ellie. I'm going to leave you here with Tommy. And then she mentioned about what happened with Sarah because there's a wee in memoriam to Sarah thing plaque up in the fireplace that Ellie noticed. And he said, never speak about my daughter to then in the last episode, being able to speak so openly about Sarah. And then her instilling her trust in Joel. Whenever she never trusted anybody before, she said at the very start she was a lone wolf to tell Joel about uh, what happened between her and Riley. And then obviously in that part, it ended there and it's going to pick up uh, season two's filming this year. It's going to carry on. And um, uh, season two is going to be all the events that happened in the second game. So for all you people who played the second game, you'll know what's coming. All you people who only watched the TV show and never played the game, the first one, You'll sure as hell. And you thought that was bad. Oh, you have no idea what's coming in season two. You're not ready. So yeah, that's it, guys. This is the end of the real Tony Stark reviews for The Last of Us TV series. I might come back and do some movie reviews this year at some point if you guys are up for it. Or just any other. I will be bringing gaming content back guys. Don't worry. It will be making a return this year. I know that in the last year. and Year to year and a half. It's been getting a lot of views on this channel. So it will be coming back. It hasn't gone away. I just like to uh, mix and match. Do a bit of a variety. With my content. Do some reviews. Some gameplay. And bits and bobs in between. So yeah guys. This has been my review of episode 8 and 9 of The Last of Us. This is the end of season one. Uh, so if you guys want to go back and watch all my other reviews of The Last of Us, I'm pretty sure I have them sorted out in a playlist. So yeah, as always guys, hope these reviews have been helpful. Thank you all very much for watching. I have been your boy, the real Tony Stark. Peace out.